Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. I'm here with Jeff Schwartz. Jeff, good to see you. Good to see you again, Lou. And Jeff Schwartz is uh, the owner of Schwartz Performance, and what Schwartz Performance is best known for is resto mods. When you're importing all of this horsepower into your older car, your frame is not going to be able to take it, so he does stuff kind of like, like that. So. Uh, where he makes those frames solid. And I'll let him talk about that, but let me grab the cameras I usually do. Jeff, what type of car? We don't see this too often. What do we have here today? What we've got here is a 73 uh, Oldsmobile Cutlass 442 version, and uh, those cars uh, got much larger, a uh, little more of a full-size car uh, in uh, 73 uh, through 77, and uh, you know, it's one of those body styles that's kind of like love it or hate it. I particularly like it, so uh, that's what we've got here, 73 Cutlass 442, one of 228 factory 455 four-speed cars. And here we go. So let me take a look at it. First of all, the front end. Come on along with me. Now, you've customized this front end. This front end is tremendous. Yeah, the uh, grills are actually the factory grills, and they wrap around the bottom of the car, and they were hidden by this gigantic bumper. So uh, the owner asked us, could we clean it up and make it... Uh, uh, look good without the bumper, so we uh, fabricated the corner pieces out of fiberglass, put some uh, side markers and some driving lights in there off of a 73 Rally Sport Camaro, and then fabbed a custom chin spoiler out of uh, metal that uh, finishes off the front end to make it look like it was designed that way. If uh, you know what a Chevy Laguna looked like in 73 for the aerodynamic nose that they put on there for NASCAR, this almost looks like that, but an Oldsmobile version if they had uh, done that. And the, uh, I like the stripe up the hood, which is the way it looked, I believe, in that time frame. And they had those kind of divots in the hood scoop there. Yeah. And let's take a look at this car from the side. This beautiful black beauty that you can see. And I want to just take a moment and let you take a look at that. And Jeff, you were sharing the aerodynamics of the back end, really make it look like NASCAR. Yeah, these are, this was the early day of wind tunnel testing in NASCAR. Um, you know, when they uh, uh, went away from the aero cars and the production cars had to be high volume production models. So, the rear roof line slopes down to a point. The windshield is raked back at a pretty steep angle. And uh, it was uh, really developed in the wind tunnel. And then shortly thereafter, they went to the smaller size cars, which had the uh, sloped front end of the Buick Grand Nationals and also the uh, uh, aerodynamic uh, Monte Carlo SS's and so forth. I always kind of like those little thin tail lights on both sides to give it a nice spacing across the back, not overwhelming you. Obviously, the reverse lights straighten the bumper. Neat kind of trumpet-like exhaust. Now, uh, tell me a little bit about this owner's preference in his car, which makes this car a little more unique as a custom just besides the front end. Well, uh, apparently he spent a couple of years having it restored and then uh, drove it a bit and didn't really care for it. So. Uh, this car came to us all painted like you see it, and uh, we basically uh, swapped in a new chassis, um, an LSA supercharged engine, which is uh, OEM in the ZL1 Camaro, and also the CTSV Cadillac. Okay. Let's take a look at the interior while we're here as well. Go ahead. Let me take a look at the door. So it has all of the stock appearance other than clearly the front and this seat does this interesting swivel that does that that's pretty cool <laughs> I think that was a great idea it by the way they should still be doing that and then we'll take a look at the interior those are custom gauges that were uh made for the car. That's cool. The Tremec six speed, but yet still giving it all the flavor of your Cutlass. Clearly we have six rather than four. It's moved up a little bit. And you'll see as we get to the engine why that's happened. Let's take a look at the trunk too, because this trunk looks, this truck's custom. We've got the battery's actually back here. 
nice carpeted trunk in the rear. Okay, let's take a look under the hood. That's where it gets interesting. Tell me a little bit about these these rims and wheels too. Uh, these are forge line wheels and uh, you know, they're ultra lightweight. The spokes are super thin and uh, they're really strong. In uh, recent years with some of the modern muscle cars that weigh a lot like the you know Chrysler uh, uh, Hellcats and the uh, new Camaros, they're kind of heavy cars and they've actually had some aftermarket wheel failures, not forge line but other companies. Uh, you can make a pretty billet wheel, but Forge Line is the real deal racing technology, and they don't break. Okay, that's good to know. So here's where it gets interesting. <laughs> Jeff, what have you done here? <laughs> well, we've got a, a 750 horse version of our LSA. This is a package that we do all the time, and... Uh, this one has another 150 shot of nitrous on it. So wow. what we've got here is 900 horsepower in a uh, 73 Cutlass. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, well, the obvious question is let's, let's hear it start. I see the two fans off the radiator there, all the custom pulleys. As you can see, ultra quick revving, and uh, <laughs> these uh, mufflers we used on here, incidentally, have a flapper valve in there that get rid of all the resonance at highway speeds. So it's very quiet at cruising speed, but when you get on it, the flapper valve opens up automatically, and it gives you a really throaty sound. A lot of air moving through that, through that exhaust. No doubt. Wow. We'll take one more look at that, and that's really nice when you open that up. All right, let's shut the hood. Let's have you stand right next to it. Jeff, always fun coming out and seeing some of the finished work that you've done. What a treat. And for those people who are interested in Schwartz performance, I'll put it in the text at the bottom of the video so they can see that. Thanks for being on My Car Story. My pleasure. Thank you.